Hey, it's Drew Dillon from Project Lift, and in this video, we're looking at the nervous system in Olympic lifting. Now, here at Project Lift, we specialize in the Olympic lift, snatch, clean, and jerk. And if you're wanting to improve your Olympic lifts, we have a free guide, how to improve your Olympic lifts today. Check it out. It'll give you support for training today. You'll love it. Once this video helps you, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe. There's new videos coming each week and pay it forward to a friend. Share it with someone who it can help. What is the nervous system? Okay, so as we get into this video, I'm gonna keep things very simple versus going down in more of the medical terminology. However, the way I'm gonna describe it today is going to support you in huge ways around your training. Now, I think of the nervous system in a very layman's way of it's the operating system to our body. It allows all the processes to function and happen without us having to control them or think about them ourselves. And this is particular impactful for the Olympic lifts because the Olympic lifts are dependent and steeped in the nervous system. And what I mean by that is there's components of the lift that are better described as reflexes than movement. So when you're turning over a snatch, that is a reflex that's firing versus something you're necessarily thinking through. And for anybody watching this who's tried to think their way through a lift, you know how you have to clear your mind and let it happen and then make adjustments after and, and go through that whole process. So I always describe it when I'm teaching a new athlete, think when you're at the doctor and you're sitting on the table and they pull out that stupid triangle mallet and they're gonna hit you in the knee with it, right? They bop your knee and your, your leg moves. Did you think about that? No, the signal is going from our knee to our spine and back. There are components of the Olympic lifts that that is happening as well, more so than other strength movements. And that's why the Olympic lifts are steeped in the nervous system. So us understanding the nervous system and how to optimize it is particularly extra valuable for anybody wanting to master the Olympic lifts. What affects the nervous system? Now, here we go everything and that may not be the response that you were thinking is coming but everything affects the nervous system from the just stress in our life to the things that we're putting our body to everything so how in the world can we control everything we can't but we can be very aware of what's going on and we can build habits and routines that set us up to be in the best place. Now, let's just go to the term stress and look at that from a standpoint of affecting the nervous system. When we talk about stress, what I want you to realize and keep in mind is we can talk about physical stress. So this is training, right? So if we get overtrained, that's gonna fry the nervous system. So we got training, physical, anything physical, whether it's training or if you have a job where you're doing physical work, this is all impactful on the nervous system. Number two, there can be mental stress. So something's going on at work, something's going on at school, something's really taxing you mentally, that is stress on the nervous system that affects the nervous system. You can look at emotional, something's happened in life that has a big emotional load for you, stress on the nervous system. And we can even look at spiritual. So whatever's going on from that standpoint can put stress on you. Those are four big buckets I like to talk about around stress. Now here's the thing, the nervous system adapts. Right, so if you have a physical job, if you're working that physical job, you know when day one when you join the job, you were probably sore as hell the next day, right? But over time, your body may be sore at certain things from your job, but you also have realized you've adapted and you've built up strength to where you're not nearly as sore. So keep that in mind. It doesn't mean that if you have a physical job, you're not gonna be able to, to train, but it's something to keep aware that no, it impacts your training for sure. And when certain things come up at work, it may impact. I had an athlete who was uh, training to be an electrician that anytime he had to pull wire overhead, his arms would be over his head. He'd be pulling this wire through these conduits for however long. He had to take a few days away from snatch each time that happened and that supported him in a big way. And he, if he didn't realize it, if he didn't make that connection, puts himself at more risk of injury or just gets pissed. So keep that in mind, everything impacts the nervous system, understanding that and seeing the trends when new stresses arise, we can already know and start to make adjustments or at least have much more of an open mind when we're walking in the gym to go, hey, let me see how things are moving versus looking at our program going, it says 90%, I better hit 90%. Give yourself a break 
and see the big picture. And finally, how do we optimize the nervous system? Now, there are a lot of ways to optimize the nervous system. And really, just like I said, it comes down to our habits and our routines. So let's start off with sleep. How is our sleep? How is our recovery? Recovery is huge, all right? We want to think of our body like a rhythm, if you will, a beat, you know, just like our heartbeat, ba bump, ba bump, right? What's taking energy from us? What are we doing to bring energy back in? What's taking energy from us? What are we doing to be bring it back in? Or we could say, what are we expending energy on? right? What are we doing to bring it back in? So when we're looking at these things, this is vital because when we want to burn candle at both ends, trust me, we're going to be overtrained and we're going to fry that nervous system. And when the nervous system gets fried, it really has symptoms of sluggishness from anywhere from a week to two weeks. So keep that in mind that if you really fry your nervous system, it could be a week to two weeks before you're really feeling snappy again. And if you're not giving yourself what you need to get back to feeling snappy, and that's where we're putting ourselves at a bigger risk of injuries and tweaks. So keep that in mind. Another way that we can optimize the nervous system from a standpoint of training is training the nervous system with our sets and reps and our intensities in our programming. We could also call this peaking. So if we have a competition coming up and we want to peak our nervous system, meaning that we want to rev our nervous system up, take the adaptations and get it ready to really be on and really go on the day that we want it to go. We can do this in our training, but this is only possible as an athlete if you're able to see the bigger picture. And if you're able to see the bigger picture, then you can start to control the variables and some of the stresses that you can control to give yourself the best possible chance of peaking that nervous system the way you want it to. And also you can give yourself a bit of uh, grace when something happens that's outside of your control and realize it's nothing that you did, right? If you're going into a big competition and all of a sudden you get a new boss and he's just on you three weeks out, can you control that? You have choices, but again, see the big picture, make adjustments and communicate with your coach all through this. You can have a great peak, a great meet, and you can continually make progress in your lifts in a way that you're healthy and feeling good, or you can get beat up, you can get beat down, you can get injured. And like most lifters out there who don't lift anymore, they do it not because they don't want to, because they can't. They've been injured or something's going on that they don't have the choice to lift anymore. So keep that in mind. Questions that you have on the nervous system, let us know. We'd love to support you, give you more information, give you some guidance out there, and good luck. See you next week.